One of the things I hear a lot, guys, is what do I have for dinner? Uh, what am I going to eat tonight? And this just comes down to being prepared. I can remember a few years back, my brother actually house-sitted my house. I was away on a holiday, and I got back from holiday, and he said, oh, I had a bit of a barbecue while you were um, away. And he said, but you had no tomato sauce in your house. And he said, what's with that? Why haven't you got any tomato sauce? And I'm like, well, mate, I just don't want to have that temptation and I don't put that temptation in front of me so I don't get, um, I don't want that thing. So eliminating the, uh, the product or, or um, bad food out of your fridge or your cupboard can really, really help you uh, stay on top of your game. Yeah, so exactly what Dan said. So failing to plan is planning to fail. So we're focusing on planning out the week. So if you, if you know that you've got a day coming up that's going to be super busy, then having the, the sense to actually plan out that day for yourself. So making sure that you've got your meals prepared, you know exactly what you're going to cook that day, so then you don't come home looking through the cupboard, looking through your fridge, and trying to figure out what you're going to make for dinner that night. So just being prepared is one of the biggest things that we have to look at in order to stay on track with everything.